Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel, Lady D. This will be my reading on the full moon that is happening on the 2nd of August at 4.31 a.m. So this week we also, like today on Friday and Saturday, we also have a positive aspect with um, the conjunction with Venus and Mercury, which is conjuncting together. This will also bring on a an aspect with the nodes and it's going to be a positive aspect so with this you might hear some good news about um to do with like financial or relationships you might hear back from someone you least expect or you or from the past um this will be a positive thing that i do feel like that will happen here with this conjunction and with the nodes it's all about having clear like your like destiny sort of set it's a destiny point here anything with the nodes it's about your destiny it's about where you're heading and it is a lot clearer in what you're wanting to do and maybe you're going to be thinking of some some um financial aspect that you're going to do or some sort of investment opportunities that coming in here but your destiny or where you're heading is a lot clearer for you it's a very positive aspect that's coming in today with the full moon that we've got I do feel like it's about releasing. I do feel like it's about energies of letting go. I do feel like it's about um, freedom. People, people, or people feeling more free or wanting freedom. I do feel like it's about releasing things that don't serve you, serve you anymore. And even could be friendships that no longer um, you need to be in your life. You might be wanting to say goodbye to them. It also, I feel like this is going to bring about more clarity. I feel like there could be more like check if you're a channeler, someone you might get receive more messages during this time. I feel like it's um, can be like a time of making some agreements um, between people with certain relationships around the world. Like agreements are going to be made during this with this full moon. I feel like that there's a lot of positive aspects with this and I feel like also it's about you're not standing for certain things anymore it's about your you're readjusting things you re you re clarifying things in your life and I feel like it's going to be about what you will take and what you won't take um and where you know where you're heading I'm joined by as my cat behind me um she's sleeping there so I'm just wondering what that is it's my cat um sleeping there um, we've also got two. Well, with this, this conjunction, he can bring a lot of joy and happiness, and life path is set. I've all, we've also got Mercury, which is going to be um, moving into Virgo, and that's going to happen before the new moon. So that's more the 29th, 30th, that's going to be moving into Virgo. We've also got um, a opposite opposition with Mercury and Saturn here. This is going to be, and this will be more coming in when Saturn does move in to that Virgo energy. Um, with this, it is about, um, can be, because when we're doing with Mercury and Virgo, you're probably going to be thinking about more what you're going to say and how you're going to say it. And there could be an aspect of overthinking things. So during this time of having this up, position where we do have with mercury and saturn it might be you are really overthinking things or you're, you're saying the wrong things even though you're trying to articulate things in a certain way you're not saying it in the way that you want to say it or it's not coming out the way that you expect it would come across so that's be careful of um, when that happens and that's going to be happening um so that will be more so sort of, I feel like run the full moon after the full moon um, when that happens. So maybe even the 3rd of, of August. But also with this uh, Mercury, it's in Virgo. As I said, it's, it's that when we're dealing with Virgo energy, we're dealing with nitpicky, perfectionist, but we're also dealing with a little worry here. So because I feel like with Virgos, they worry a lot. And so you might, because Mercury is how we think, it's how we communicate. So you might feel like you're overthinking things when during this time. Um, have a bit of a worry in this that's here. And also too, we're going to have, um, we're going to also have Mercury, which is going to go in retrograde in August too in Virgo. So that's, it's going to probably be a lot of overthinking when that time does come too. But it's going to be a lot of like you're wanting things to be perfect. You're wanting to say the perfect thing. You want to say something in a certain way. There's You're going to have these thoughts and you're going to think about what things you're going to do. How you're going to say. You might be more aware if you make mistakes too. Um, or if you forget things, you'll be more aware of it too. During, the, um, during this Mercury that's coming into Virgo as well. 
what else I got here too I got here um, for this week I got sharing is caring so I do feel like it's going to be a week of sharing I do feel like this week there is a lot of positive moments especially for today that's coming in and with this full moon I do feel like it is going to be about breaking free of certain ties that have been restricting you and about letting go of, of things as well and a lot of clearing out I feel like a lot of energies, energies that are going to come up this week it's going to be about clearing out things um, things that you don't need anymore I feel like you're not going to stand for certain people or certain remarks. The way people say things, you're not going to really stand for it or tolerate it. I feel like it is going to be time to get things done. So I do feel like this week is about having a checklist of getting things done. Um, I do feel like that it's a it's going to be a week where we can't sweep things under the rug. You're having to maybe happy to face things, but it's going to be a positive things because you're getting it done. Um, standing up for yourself so I sort of feel like you're not going to take certain people's crap anymore or this week you're going to be maybe less tolerant of that too because we are dealing with Aquarian energy with this moon this um, full moon and I also feel like I feel like it's a good week um, it's also a week where it's like not, not about complaining and just getting things done I just feel like that's going to be coming in too but it's going to be a good week where we're soaking up energy or being re-energized. Um, perhaps this full moon energy. But also I feel like the sun. Like it's going to be a good week to go out into the sun. Um, energize yourself and to to feel more fulfilled or fuller too. That I feel like it's going to come in. But I keep on hearing like a high frequency. So I feel like there's going to be like a lot of frequencies or perhaps a lot of like channeling. A lot of messages that's going to come through this week to, to people as well. We do have this Mars that's still in Virgo. So we're going to be going from this week from a lot of Leo energy to then coming into um, a lot more of the Virgo energy that's going to be coming up as well. Um, and we've got that Venus retrograde still happening in Leo that it's making its way back through that sign. We've still got the Jupiter that's there with the Uranus there um, and the nodes that have shifted signs too. Um, and activating more where, where we are heading and you know where our destinies are heading and where you know where we're going to anything else that i can see it's coming up for this week i think just be careful of that aspect here the opposition to saturn i feel like that's, that can get people into a bit of trouble um you might sort of feel like you're saying as i said saying things the right way but it's going to be problems with communication there or people misunderstanding you um can come coming up with that as well but I, I feel like there's some some positive aspects that are coming up as well I feel like oh, mostly this week will be positive let's look at the cards and see what the cards say for this week ahead for what's coming up and I feel like for people who hold on to a lot of stuff this week it's going to serve them no good it is about letting go I feel like it's about Letting go of drama or dramatizing events too that's happening around the world. All right, coming up with the cards this week. So what I do feel like that people need to believe more in themselves and I feel like assisting of the mind and getting with the clarity and overthinking of things, I feel like that people might be looking at or feeling like they, they can't get um, what they want out. But it's also a thing of here having this belief. So I feel like people are really going to have to look at belief, but not only in themselves or things that they're wanting to happen in their lives too, like sort of believing that these things can happen for you. I also feel like that there is a week of being very social, but also be careful for being worn out. I feel like there's going to be a lot of, like, to do with, like going out with friends and, 
and being very social this week but it's also an aspect with this card i do feel like it's a card of anxiety but also a card of being worn out overworked and just waiting for this white time to happen i do feel like there's gonna be like i said a lot of clarity that comes in for this week especially for relationships here too i feel like there's a lot of things about relationships that are coming up in these cards i do feel like that um people like wishing to be in certain relationships or wishing to have certain partners this can be coming true that i feel like that's coming up as well as well as it could be some sort of like if i see this card it could be baby news but i feel like it's about more about the relationship too and um I said people that are in relationships I said last week that are in very certain relationships where it is very positive these ones I feel like are going to stand test um, time through these troubled times for those ones who where it's just not working out those ones are going to be the ones where we have trouble for um, again it could be simple from the past or it could even be meeting someone new but be careful with meeting people new people during this retrograde because it may not work out for the best there's also a chance for stepping up in the career here having um it could be talk or stepping up in certain um certain aspects here or you're having to step up in your own career in your own job there might be more responsibility coming your way you might even feel like especially like feel like with relationships that your world's upside down but i feel like it's not a bad thing i feel like it's a positive thing here but your world's have been turning upside down as well i also feel like that someone with the cards is a lot of patience that's needed this week um to receive a certain clarity and where you are heading i feel like there is an aspect here of letting go i just feel like with this full moon that's coming in it's going to be a lot about cleansing letting go looking at to where you are now wanting to where your destiny is heading is taking you i feel like you're going to have a glimpse of being able to see where things are going to go especially when we're coming up to this the solar eclipse that's going to be coming up later in the year i feel like these will also bring in and more clarify and sort of really play put in place in where you're where you are heading i feel like that people this week are going to have a lot of responsibility on their backs and their shoulders in in also but again it's like people uh, these people who lack the belief in themselves need to have belief in themselves this week and i do feel like you're going to get um, confirmation of that or you're going to get something to reassure you of what you can do i also feel like people who are more lonely who haven't heard from people in a while they're going to hear from people coming back this week you're, you're going to hear some good news i feel like it's going to be a positive week um of, of sorts this week too i also feel like that there's going to be um in terms of the media this week i do feel like there's going to be some things that are coming out here i'm seeing donald trump jr so he might be in australia we might hear some news of when his his um things back on when um the rescheduling the dates that i am going to um so i'm going to that event but i, I see him so we might hear of when these dates are going to be rescheduled and i feel like there's going to be some um there's going to be some media that's coming out with that or, or some sort of media thing with that too i do feel like that um they're gonna put like pressure or, or governments are gonna make it they've got more responsibility or more pressure but i feel like this is like a, it's like a blame game and i feel like this is an unrealistic thing that's going to come out too uh, as well um but yeah but a lot of these cards i feel like there's a lot about releasing believing in yourself having that fun people be people being disappointed but they're disappointed in themselves but they shouldn't be because i feel like that they're doing a very good job and they should be more happy and where, where they have come as well i do see rearranging of finances too so perhaps people are trying to rearrange finances budgets where they're putting things trying to be one step ahead of um the economy or banks or whatever it is that you're doing um but i also feel like it's a there is a big cleansing that's coming up this week so i keep on getting hearing cleansing and letting go um and clarity that's going to be coming up and and being free and, and freedoms that are coming up here hey right, let's just see what else i can get um we'll do a channel let's see 
This full moon is going to bring out the best in all of you. For all that is hidden is going to be seen. There are going to be shocks around the world of things to come. There are going to be different stipulations for different people that are going to come in. They're going to try and also ruin people's chances of where they're wanting to go. But these are the things that everyday people won't have to really worry about. For in their own lives, they will see positive aspects come in. They'll see that they feel more released, they feel more calm, and they are feeling like they know where they are heading now, where the worst has gone past and the best is yet to come. For this will be a feeling of tremendous responsibility that comes on others, where they have to take on more responsibility and they have to also help others to get to where they are. For others, it's about more clarity about their own life purpose and where they are heading and that things are finally going into place for them, that they can finally see improvements and outcomes for their hard work to be done. And for these people, a pat on the back is going to be their reward for this week. Okay. Okay, so let's just do um, some cards. Cards I'm going to do these cards there. Look here. Okay, so card number card number one, which is this card here. This card to me is about celebration. It is about um, giving things to others. Like I said, like caring and um, caring is sharing. So I was getting the when I was um, trying to sort of see what's coming up this week. I was getting caring and sharing. So in this case, yeah, caring and sharing. I also feel like there could be some sort of family events or outings. There's a sense of loyal, loyalty here as well. I feel like any troubles that are bothering you are going to be sort of weighed up and they're going to be settled by the end of the week. Um, you are also looking at passing things on to other people, but I feel like this is mostly a card for like families, having fun, enjoying yourself. Um, there is, like I said, like loyalty. The light is shining about you. It's about what you've achieved is for this week as well. Um, and it's like a lot of playfulness. So I do feel like it's a lot of playfulness energy that's coming in. So I do feel like it's about fun. Card number two, just this card here. With this card, you're doing a lot of patience here. You're really being more flexible in your week. You're going to have to be more flexible in your week to get things you want to get done. It's almost like you're running out of time. Um, there are some positive aspects here. There is like, like a new new light, new tunnel, new pathway. Your new destiny point is opening up here in where you're heading. You are reaching for new things. You are um, not letting things stop you in where you're going. You're very determined to get where you need to get done. But you're going to have to be very flexible to get what you want done for this week um, as well. There's, and you don't want to say goodbye. There's something about here, but not wanting to say goodbye to someone or not wanting to say goodbye to something as well. You're holding something on very tight to this week. Card number three, which is this card here. Okay, so this card here, there is a lot of uh, wisdom in this card, there is change. There's also um, protection that's coming into this card too. I feel like it's it's very much a card of, again, we're perhaps waiting for someone, but also you're also soaking up the wisdom, you're changing, doing some soul searching as well. Um, what you had thought you wanted might, might also be changed. This it could be a lot of hard work coming out for you too. And you don't want to be... I feel like you don't want to be a loser, so you don't want to be like lose something. We don't want to be a loser, but of course, it could be a, a discard someone coming in with relationships as well, coming in for your life, into your life, or back into your life. But you need a lot of clarity this week, and I just feel like you need to use a lot of wisdom that you have, like have your smarts about you this week with this card, too. There might also be a bit of an icy effect, it could be maybe colder, or a bit of an icy reception somewhere, too. Um, with this card here, it's about money. So I feel like it's a good um, card in terms of money, um, clarity. There's a lot of wisdom. 
there's also a lot of healing in this card too i do feel like there's going to be a positive financial week for you i feel like that your your path is very clear your destiny is set clear your things are opening up around you you're finally like learning to do things your way you're fun letting like not letting things that will get you down but also you're being very free in yourself in where what you're doing in your life and not anyone get into your way or anyone sort of where they feel what you should do one way you're not letting that bother you because you're doing it your own way and you're very happy about that as well with this card okay so um my meeting last week went very well with my local restaurant so we are just um in the middle of booking dates and just sorting out the bugs and, and things so uh, as soon as i get more information on that event i will let you know so far we are looking at to be in early october for that event so that will be i'm hoping what it will be is that it will be well it will be anyway i'm hoping it'll be like a show a platform show and a dinner um it could be but also might end up being like private readings as well but you have so you have like a meal and there's also like you come and get a reading um just to sort out with numbers and how it goes but we are looking at a sunday for that day to come on possibly are looking at other venues talking at other venues to do other other events as well um in the news is coming up i do have a fair that's coming up in my next fair will be in september that i've got coming up here too and i think that's it so i'm available for readings at the crystal shop in camden or if you're overseas i can do online readings via zoom um just contact me and um and we can arrange a time where it suits us both as well just let me know where you're from because i'm from sydney so let me know where you're from so we can work out time differences so if you and then i think that's all my news so far so thank you for your likes shares and your comments and i will see you in my next video so bye for now